I've been trying to get this trash can since like 11 o'clock this morning. So. Um, yeah. But after today, bro, I'm done buying stuff. Like, I'm talking about bop, 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 bop. Like, my bank account is probably calling me. Shout out to American Express, though. Yo, vlogging is low key fun because it's like I'm kind of bringing y'all with me, tight gent. You feel me? I've been wanting to call people or just like talk to people just to like, I don't know, conversate about my excitement about just like my place coming slowly together and just how freaking expensive everything is. Expensive. Some things are expensive. Other things, like groceries and stuff, they they ain't really put that much but it's like the little stuff they're like you know storage and everything else that's like their investments which is why I'm not really mad at buying them but it also makes me think like all the times I went out and spent like a hundred two hundred in one night or like back during college when I would just spend money on just anything like that thing is crazy ah like you gotta know the value of your dollar all of these things are investments. That's what I'm gonna have to keep telling myself. Alright, my day is over. I'm about to go vibe, put stuff up. My mom sent me money to celebrate. So shout out to my mom. I'm about to go watch one of these games. Alright, till next time. What's up, y'all, man? It's been a busy first couple of days in the new loft. I ain't gonna lie. Um, moving is, I ain't gonna say it's tough. It's just like, I guess it's a lot if you want to have everything together. And maybe I've been rushing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything's pretty much together. It's just, I guess looking back, like, <laughs> like being on go 100% of the time, like I was. In that video like definitely took a toll like on my body <laughs> so energy wise I've been good it's just like I felt different I guess so take that as you will um my first couple of days I originally planned to be like active and just like you know what I'm saying I wanted to do photo walks around my area um I wanted to do I wanted to vlog like shopping and everything, but bro, honestly, that's a lot to do while vlogging. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, content creators, bro, like, y'all, I like it. You know what I'm saying? We, we slowly get in there. I'm going to take my time, bro. But it's like, that's a lot of stuff. You feel me? To actually document via video what it is that you're doing and actually doing what you're doing while getting it done. Like, no lie. But today, I haven't showed y'all my, I got like some vintage jet posters by this artist. I believe his name is Shahid Rucker, I believe. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Michael's. I'm going to see. I ain't trying to spend too much on frames, but these are pretty big. I didn't realize they were this big, but I think that'll be a dope thing to add to the space. But overall, man, it's been, it's been an interesting experience. Definitely embracing change. You know what I'm saying? Adapting. Um... Apparently, like, these prints are done in centimeters. So, like, it's printed, like, Europe style. European style. So, the, so the only place that probably got ready-made frames is probably Ikea. So, well, um, I'm about to look it up online first. And then, if they got something in stock, that's where we're going. It's funny, because I was just thinking, like, I haven't did an Ikea run, like, every other YouTuber who does a moving vlog. Like, that's the first place they go. Ikea, Target, and stuff like that. But hopefully, I just want to hang these Johns. I don't know. I just want to see how I look in my space. I don't got, I don't really have anything hanging yet, for real. So, the journey continues. Yeah, this is a little overwhelming. I feel like there's so much. I have nowhere 
I have no idea where to start. I don't even know if I should get a buggy. I would think that I would just be able to hold frames, but yeah, I don't even know. And my camera died, so um, but here we go. Uh, <laughs> I just got a feeling I'm gonna walk out of here with more than just the picture frames, so <laughs> no lie. All right, but where is it? Yeah, you got me looking at stuff. I'm like, dang, I do need a like, a, do I need a mirror in my living room? Like, this shit is crazy. And I like artistic stuff like this. You don't got a price tag though. You can buy that at Michael's too. Yeah, this is a. Uh, feel like niggas can be here for an hour. And you know they got some tough lamps. That one's all right though. I need some special if I'm gonna buy a lamp. All right, so I kind of like this one. Big thing about a big space is the lighting. And I don't have many big lights, so. $30 though, that looks fire. Kind of like a desk lamp to it. Cause this complements the golden one I have. And it also adds to the like chrome aesthetic I have with the, uh, or the chrome style I have with my bar stools. I don't have a desk yet though, so I don't necessarily need it. But style wise, that just fire. Well, hopefully these work with the prints. Let's go home and put them up. I really was gonna leave it there in the box, but she said unbox it, so. Got whatever this is. We gotta slam it. <laughs> oh man, so. That was cool. That little fire. Oh, you got me. You be a little special. And, and the time to keep it on if you want to cook your bacon, you just quick bacon. Good. I do mean, I Google search like. That's what I said. <laughs> I heard it once. Hey, man, like I said, man, get y'all some friends that care about you. Bro. My homegirl kind of pulled up on me, bought the house warming gift to help me put up a little, uh, get right with one of my decorations. And now that I put it together, bro, like, that shit hard. That print is hard. Oh my gosh, that print is hard. I cannot believe, like, I'm pretty much getting this space. Like, I had a whole vision, y'all. I wish I would have made like a pictures board so that I could show y'all. But like, bro, I just, bro, God is good, bro. God is good. I'm feeling so good right now, bro. I feel so good right now. God is good, bro. Not just because He blessed me with like a new place to live or like being able to. Uh, just afford all of these like things that I have, bro. But just like because of just the experience of life and just having him within me, bro, and like having him paint the way, like mark the way, and be a may way, oh, a may way, a way maker, like just throughout the joy, the peace I have, bro. Like God's good all the time, all the time. God is good. Not to mention the people he surrounds me with, like. And that's just one of my friends, bro. Like, I got my community back in Augusta that I built in my church, bro. Like, bro. I got my other little friends talking about getting me house when we get us. Like, bro. I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed, bro. It's, it's crazy. And I, like I said last time, like, it's crazy to us in our fleshly mind, in our human mind, bro. But it's God, bro. What's impossible for man is possible with God, bro. Oh my God. Like, man, oh man, oh man. But I got a testimony, I'm telling you. What's up, YouTube family? This is take two, so uh, be be a little graceful with me. Um, recently, 
even after watching the video, past couple weeks, I've been reflecting like on my journals, life journals, and just kind of like trying to see the full journey and process of how I got here today. It's been so crazy. And I'm, I'm very grateful for the full thing. Like in the moment, in the heat of things, like it's not pleasant at all. You feel me? Like we just want to do whatever. We just want to accomplish our goal that we have. But it's just like that process, that journey is there for a reason, bro. Like it's just crazy. And I just heard the other day, like it's only crazy until it happens because for my own personal story, like I had, I had to surrender to where I was back in my hometown. And then after that surrendering, I was surrounded by people that helped, helped me grow my relationship closer to God to help me like build certain disciplines and consistencies and like just certain things were happening in my life that before I was kind of like, it wasn't making progress in, but then after that, everything started to shift. And then that just went into the momentum that led to me actually moving into my dream loft apartment. It's, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Um, in regards to life, I wanted to talk about just me as a newly 24 year old adjusting to living alone and embracing change. Like the whole month and like weeks before actually moving in, there was so much change going on in my life. It was crazy. It's like God was like really shaking things up. I ain't gonna lie from me actually preparing to move, getting everything ready. Um, kind of like, I was I was getting like real close to hanging out with my family a lot more. Like I was, it was just like the family dynamic changing of me actually, you know what I'm saying? Moving off to becoming my own man, which is what I wanted. But then also like, dang, you know, I'm gonna miss my family because it's my first time actually being away since college for real, for real. And um, I just got out of a really close relationship with somebody that I really cared about. And that's shaking up. We cool now, but it's still like, it's a whole different dynamic, which I still I still have to adjust to. I still am adjusting to. My my little brother, like, I'm grateful for him because he just moved and he's following his basketball dreams. He's up, he's up north in New Jersey following his dreams. So it's like, dang, I'm the big brother. So I got to make sure that I keep that relationship with me, him, me and him closer. You feel me? Definitely as we get older. I had an organizational change going on in my job. So, you know, like, Anxiety just through the roof, bro. Like relationships, family, job, like, Lord, I'm just moving out. And there's a there's a management change. Like, what's my job? Am I switching jobs? Like, boom, boom, boom. You feel me? Like, it was a lot going on, bro. It was a lot going on. Not to mention that, like, my whole testimony is like back in early 20, 20 um 2022, uh, I was trying to move, like. It's crazy because I was literally, I had literally had an appointment scheduled for this place, but they did not like, bro. I made, I made a moving, what's it called? I made a, a a tour. I made a tour schedule appointment, right? And then I pull up. It's cold. I'm outside. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? My name. They said, did anybody get back to you? I'm like, nah. But like, I schedule online, and it was like, if nobody got back to you. Can't do it. Boom, boom, boom. You feel me? And I'm just like, and it's crazy because that was this was the only place that I had to tour that day, and I'm just like, you know. I was already trying to escape because I had like relationship problems. I had like some family stuff going on. I had like some own my own personal insecurity type stuff going on. Just life, bro. Like life was beating my butt, bro. And I'm just like, Lord, you know, in, inside I felt like I had a lot more preparation to go through. I had a lot more things to discover about myself and go through to like grow through, go through to grow through in my life. And I felt that, but I'm like, Lord, you moved me away from like this situation. You helped me escape what I was feeling and and what I was um kind of trying to run away from. I'll be good, but the Lord, He told me to just surrender. You feel me? And like in that in that year and a half, bro, like I told y'all, like I got my community video up with the young adult ministry and my church chosen. Um, I was able to um my family stuff got good, my relation uh Let's just say like my own personal issues and everything. Like I, I learned a lot about myself and I was able to grow from it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning, but I'm adapting as well. You feel me? Like um, I'm growing into a better man and I can see that personally in my own life. It's just crazy how as soon as like the summer hit, I'm just like, you know what? 
this is still a goal of mine, you feel me? I'm going to just see, I'm going to go to my potential lost spots that I'm thinking of and see what they really look like in person. And then I go to all three. I'm not even, I toured this one, but you know, I'm not even thinking about it for real. Because I, I had a dream about one that had like brick. And I'm like, yeah, I can definitely imagine myself in brick. And then doors just started to open, bro. I moved in earlier than I expected, but everything was so smooth. And it's just like, man, here I am. Here I am. Like, it's just crazy. But so much change. And like, as I reflect, change is, is dope. But while you're in the middle of it, it's, it, it's what's it called? It's, it like, it builds your character. It builds your character. I ain't gonna lie, like, now that I've been here, I have been adjusting, but it's still, I think sometimes, like, when we set a goal and then we accomplish it, we think, like, that's it. But it's like, there's so many, there's so much more different, there's so much more aspects of life connected to that one goal that we might not automatically think of when we're thinking about this big goal. But it's like once that's accomplished, these other aspects have to be addressed as well. And it's just interesting. Like I know I came up here, I, I moved up here to pursue my interest in creativity, art, photography, videography, and even YouTube. Like I'm I'm grateful for it. as I look back on my goals and my and my and my vision board, it's like I'm actually doing these things and it's dope. But where's the balance? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Like I moved up here, bro. I'm in the capital of the South, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm doing exactly what it is that I want to do. I even, I've been working. Work has been good. People have been hitting me up for work. It's, it's dope. I'm, um, I'm doing my best to take photo walks, even though I'm having technical difficulties with my tripod and everything. And it's just like on the weekends, even if like, you know, you still got life stuff to do. You still got to wash, you still got to wash clothes. You still got to cook. You got to support yourself. You got to live. You feel me? But if I'm in the house, I'm like, dang, I moved to Atlanta. Like, should I be in the house right now? You feel me? Like, and you know, as soon as you step outside, that's money, money, money. So it's, it's kind of like finding that balance or like kind of finding my own routine. And it takes time. Like I've been, I've been mad hard on myself lately. Hope, like recently a friend, I had a conversation with a friend that kind of like told me I was tripping. So that helped me a little bit, but it's change is dope, but it also requires something of you. And I guess, you know what? That's really anything. Like I pray for this. And once you pray for more responsibility, when that more responsibility comes in, once those dreams start requiring more of you, those goals start requiring more of you, you got to be able to answer that. And I think it's just important to just keep the main thing the main thing, but then also find a balance between t time, leisure, business, life, and, and really giving yourself grace, really giving yourself grace. God gave us grace. Thank you, Lord. So, you know what I'm saying? Be sure to give yourself grace as well. I'm really talking to myself, but if it applies to you, you feel me? But what can I say, man? Life is good. I'm getting the place together. I, I can't believe I like, I got... The furniture pieces and everything is like, bro, um, the place, the spot is the spot, bro. The spot is the spot. But now it's less about getting the place together and more about, okay, Ramel, what kind of man do you want to be? You feel me? And I have the ideas or I have the vision. But now it's like, all right, what are the steps? What are what are, what are the actions that we take to like become this better version of yourself that you envision? You know what I'm saying? So everything's a process. Everything's a process. Once you hit one milestone, once you hit one checkpoint, it's just like, okay, what's next? And um, that's the tough part about it. That is the tough part about it. But. I'm definitely enjoying the, 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 I'm definitely enjoying the, um, I don't know, the pleasure, the leisure, whatever. But yeah, man, I just wanted to do a little update, just embracing change. I don't even know if that was exactly what I had in mind for real, but that's what came out authentically as I'm recording this. So we're going to keep it.
just um even like preparing and reviewing like i'm getting a little emotional like eyes tearing up and stuff <laughs> on that light skin stuff <laughs> but bro man reflecting on the goodness of the lord reflecting on the fruits of your labor reflecting on just life bro like i've had friends over family and um all those dark times i went through these past two years bro it's just like it don't mean it was just character building bro it was just character it was just character building i don't know what arc this is right now but uh it's a new season loading, you dig? All right, man, let's go, let's go do something. Let's go do something.